Pep? Uh, you said before the game that uh, you expected Feyenoord to be a lot tougher than maybe their results showed. Did it come as a big relief at the end to get the win there? Yeah, uh, good evening. Yeah, of course the win is better than don't. Uh, but of course we're going to analyse the performance. So the first half we could do better. Uh, but sometimes it's difficult when you win a lot, a lot of games. You already qualify. You insist, okay, we have to finish first, but have another chance to finish first. And uh, we didn't have the, the the right tension to play. But that is normal. That is normal. So, but at the end, okay, we we can are still winning, and um, we make a fantastic goal from from Raj and, and the excellent pass from from Gundogan, and um, and at the end we were able to win. Sam, uh, hi Pep. Um, it was the eleventh goal of the season for Raheem. He's he's looking like he's having his best season of his career so far. I mean, what do you think he's improved and changed this season? Uh, you know, uh, w w you see, uh, so it's a lot of goals that is good for him. He's enjoying he's scoring important goals. The score goals is so important for our wing as a striker. So uh, it's good. So, but this always I say the same. He's still young. He still can improve. Uh, potentially Bayern Munich, Juventus, Real Madrid could be your opponents in the in the. Does it, does it mean th in, at least in this year finish, finishing top of the group doesn't really have that much of a difference compared compared to second place? Uh, we'll play to win the games, and after we will see what how finish. Uh, we have one game left, and for everybody, and we're going to see to happen, but. Important 15 points. 15 points is the first time in Manchester City finish first in the in the stage. Uh, they're going to try to go now Shakhtar to to finish good to win the game. They're going to try it. So we will see the draw. Uh, 16 less 16. So it doesn't matter which one. Always will be complicated. Okay. Pep, um, another strong performance from Kevin De Bruyne. Is that another example of his talent in the way that he uh, cleaned his yellow card tonight? Uh, it was a clear yellow car. It was a fault, a clear fault. I prefer to make a fault uh, far away, <laughs> not in the box. But uh, uh, okay, he helped us again. Always Kevin playing at high level, and, uh, and he did it uh, again. Sam. Hi Pep. Just on Bernardo, it was about a year ago that we started to see what Leroy Sane could do. Um, but you know, we had a few setbacks. And he showed his best form from you know January onwards. Is that a similar thing for Bernardo? Or are we still to see his his best form? Has it been a, a, a difficult start for him? Bernardo is a player I never play bad, so he make um, little mistakes uh, with the ball and take a decision. He's a guy who maybe is the, when you finish is the guy who run the most. So he's clever, he's intelligent, but he's a guy who. It's clear more inside outside. They have no the speed from from Raj or or Leroy, for example. But it's a guy so so clever. He's a young player. He's so important last season for Monaco. For example, he the last 10 of 15 minutes he played in Napoli when the game was 3-2. He came in and the game <coughs> over. We had the quality to to have the ball to keep it and uh, and and he did it well. But it's in the beginning. Still is. We know each other, and maybe he needs a little bit more time to understand absolutely what we are looking for. But he's so intelligent, and today he be played really, really good. Simon, Pep, what did you make of Phil and Brahim tonight in the minutes that they played, and what comes next for them? Well, I want to say is a big congratulation. The academy, all the club, has to be so proud. Like two young players, 70, 80 years old, make you first appearance in a, in a Champions League tournament. So when the result would have been more clear, would have been more minutes. Uh, and so they are a young talent, but he's 70 years old. Our squad is not too, 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 you know, too big. And we will see, we will see what happens in the, in the next games. But hopefully we can stay for a long time and help us to, to develop that club. But I think for the academy, for all the guys who's working for a long time ago, the scouting, to search uh, the, the, the huge talent, the, the way they work with them. And at the end, always I, 
I put them on the field, but the, the, you know, you have to des deserve all the credit, the guys who were with them for the last, last years, all the managers, all the people, teammates who play with them, they are responsible for the reason why they, they made today the first appearance. Okay, take a couple of questions in Spanish, please. Just one second. Yeah. Hola, Pep. Uh, T'ho pregunto uh, en català. Uh, avui han debutat tant el Phil Foden com el Brain com els veus. Uh, I què n'esperes d'ells aquesta temporada? Bé, espero que siguin creixent. Són joves. Uh, vull, volem avançar en molts processos. Uh, Llavors que avui han fet el primer partit en Champions League uh, i mica en mica ho anirem veient. Ens anirà veient en el, en el, en, en el futur. Però els seguiran entrenant amb nosaltres, seguiran jugant, entrenant i quan ho creguin convenient començaran a jugar amb nosaltres. Uh, I want to ask you about Phil Foden and Bra Brian Diaz. What can we expect from them for, for the future? Well, hopefully keep growing. They're still young. Uh, we don't need to <coughs> speed up uh, the process of, of growing. Stay calm. Today it's been their first game in the UEFA Champions League. And we will see as we go along. They will keep training with us. They will keep playing. I'll put them on, on the pitch. And they we'll see in the future.